We begin here tonight with state lawmakers calling for change after the I team first revealed just one person's name and mugshot on the state's database of convicted sex buyers. This despite hundreds of arrests in the Bay Area alone. The goal here was always to prevent human trafficking in this database by going after the buyers themselves, a public shaming of sorts to reduce demand. And tonight, I team investigator Kylie McGivern taking her findings to local lawmakers who are now taking action. We brought our findings to State Representative Jackie Toledo. She was among the lawmakers who voted in favor of the Johns database. So we asked her what she feels needs to happen now. What do you think about the fact that a year in there is just one person listed on that database? I just couldn't believe this. When I heard that, I just couldn't believe that there was only one. Just the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office alone arrested 262 people last year in that same time period. What does that tell you? That they're playing out, that they're hiring attorneys and, and they're getting just a slap on the wrist and allowing to be let back onto the streets to do it again. I hope to see a reduction in people doing it because of the shame associated with it. I mean, shame really works and I think Nobody wants to be on a list, you know, but if you're having pe only one person on a list, it's not working. What do you want to see changed? The penalties. This session, Republican State Rep Jackie Toledo of Tampa filed a new human trafficking bill. Even though we've made great strides in recent years, there's still so much that needs to be done. One that would, in part, raise the penalty for a first-time sex buyer or John from a misdemeanor to a felony following the lead of Texas, which last year became the first state to make buying sex a felony. I think if you increase it to a felony and then plea it down to a misdemeanor, you're going to be part of that John's registry. So people are going to be held accountable and they're going to think twice before buying sex. The I team will be watching to see if similar controversy that came with the soliciting for prostitution public database is stirred up with this proposal about the best way to protect victims sold for sex. We must get serious about human life in this aspect and increase penalties for this very serious crime. The House Criminal Justice Subcommittee discussing the bill today. If you believe you are a victim of human trafficking or suspect an adult is a victim, please call the National Human Trafficking Hotline or if you suspect a child is involved, the Florida Abuse Hotline. Both of those numbers are there on your screen. I'm I team investigator Kylie McGivern taking action for you. Well, the I team has reported quite extensively on human trafficking throughout the Tampa Bay area. For years now, our I team has worked to provide exclusive, in depth looks at how the crime is happening here locally. You can see our investigative coverage, including our full report on that statewide database in all in one place. ABCActionNews.com slash trafficking.